And you can see how fast the uh, motors are revolving around the uh, center of that uh, or cluster nucleus. That's an or cluster nucleus in an active state. It's at a high activity state and a high vibrations frequency rate. I'm not going to talk too much, so I don't shake the camera. As soon as I started talking, you see how it moved back? Now it definitely knows I'm uh, here with the camera. Let's see, I'll take a picture. Let's see if it'll come. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I brought it closer. to come I want it to come even closer I'm a 200x I was only at a hundred before now it's moved back now you can see the plasma and if it gets any if the revolutions get any faster It'll create a ball, like a plasma ball. It'll become an orb. It's already an orb, but it's this is an orb cluster nucleus. But if it gets any faster, like the revolutions get any faster in the vibration level, or the frequencies get higher, it'll turn into just a pure plasma ball. It's still not that fast yet. But, I mean, fast is a relative term when you're talking about these things. There's fast and there's fast. So there are zillions of wars that are on the outside of that nucleus also spinning or revolving counterclockwise around the nucleus. The ones in the nucleus are revolving counterclockwise around the center of the nucleus, but there's also large clusters that move back and forth at different vibrations frequencies, and they set the tone, the pace, and the frequencies uh, for all the orbs, including themselves. And uh, there's a lot going on for all this to be happening and for all the orbs to be working together. Uh, they don't all work together on the same frequency, but there is one frequency that regulates all of their actions and their uh, movement and uh, everything else about this cluster. Each cluster has like a main frequency. So, the orbs inside the nucleus, that's what they set, the, they set the main frequency. Although the orbs on the outside of the nucleus, the orb clusters, I should say, on the outside of the nucleus also have their own frequencies, but this one from the nucleus is the main frequency that regulates all the other frequencies. So it's all about the revolutions, the speed of the revolutions, the vibrations frequencies uh, and uh, the who sets them. It's the ores in the nucleus that set the main frequencies which regulate all the other frequencies. And now it's just an orb. See it keeps changing from a pure plasma state to a semi-plasma state. camera here. It's not that small. Got a big lens. I 
I'm still at 200x, I haven't touched the zoom because it's so far away. It's low in the sky, it's not that high off the ground, maybe a couple of thousand feet. But it, it's very far. It keeps coming closer and moving back and up. So the motion is toward me and away from me, but away and up. You can see the, uh, the, the elevation changes as it goes up. I'm not moving the camera. You can see that it's moving up and down. That's the orb doing it. See now it sank down lower. I have to move the camera. See, every time I take a shot, right? you see it? It distorts its frequency because it can sense that I'm taking shots and uh, it throws it off because it can sense the camera, especially when you point it right at it. I think what it's sensing is the laser distance finder on the camera. And that's how it uh, it can sense the location. See? Every time I do that, it throws it out. Watch. See how fast it got? Now it's changed even its uh, uh, pulse rate. You see it pulsing? It wasn't pulsing like that before. That's the electromagnetic pulse. It's got an electromagnetic field. It works on an electromagnetic frequency and it has a pulse. And uh, you can only tell that when you slow the video down then you can hear the the noise it makes because it makes a sound although it's inaudible to uh, when you're uh, just listening to it in a, with your ears and uh, at normal speed but you can hear it when you have a when you have a slow down version of the same video you can hear it you see how that's now just the ball. It's very low. It's in front of something. I don't know what's in back of it, but now it's like really low. Sometimes you can see the big orbs inside the nucleus. They'll be darker. And you can see them. What they're doing is moving positions to set the vibrations frequencies uh, to a different uh, to a different frequency. So what's happening, these things are like in the air, they're all over the place and they're just sparking up these cluster nuclei everywhere. And uh, like they don't hide them in, uh, themselves anymore or anything. Uh, at least uh, as far as I can tell, they're just like popping up all over. And I, I don't know why other people aren't noticing them, because now they're really visible. And I mean, 
You really have to not want to see one to miss it. Because they're all over the place. And it's going to go below a tree. There's a tree in the way. It's come down really low. It's like just a... Uh, there's a tree right there and it's gonna go right behind it. That's what it does sometimes. Not that one, but you know, all of them do the same thing. They hide behind trees. Yeah, it's partially uh, hidden out by a tree on the left hand side. Okay, I think I'm going to stop because now it's just, I'm going to do nothing. <laughs>